So I've been feeling a little bit sick and not really good about myself lately. Probably just be a mess. So I decided to do a little exercise that is like sketching myself but without looking at myself as much. I'm gonna put like some YouTube video on, probably Sean or Megan and try to do this. Also I'm trying to record myself as I go. Probably not gonna record the progress as much but I'm gonna catch up in a little bit. So um, this is where I am right now. I did this cartoon little self-portrait, but I feel like it doesn't look like me. I added all the things that would make it me, but it doesn't look like me at all. Like, it has the glasses, big lips and stuff, and like type of clothes I wear and stuff, but it doesn't look like me. Um, then I made this one. It's a very rough sketch. I just started on it. It looks a lot more like me. But there's something off about it. <laughs> I don't know, like, I usually, I tend to go more towards realism than cartoon. I tend to, like, mi mix both styles. Also, I'm watching Megan, Megan Wang. If you want to know what I'm watching. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm trying to practice, and she was just talking about something very similar. She was talking about how she doesn't allow herself to, you know, sketch and have fun and practice and make mistakes and it doesn't need to be shareable so yeah this is how you know that exercise is going I really like the more realistic one um, yeah every time I try to draw cartoons it I don't know it looks cute and all but it's not me and it's kind of weird I don't know I don't like it. So like, every time I'm drawing, I try again to approach the cartoon style, but it just doesn't work. It's like, this is not me. Also, sorry for the walls, we are going to renovations and stuff. But yeah, I, I always tend to like, go cartoony, but realistic at the same time, somehow. How do you even call that? I have no idea. But that's how I do it, I guess. I've been working on this little sketch that's also like a meet the artist sort of thing on um, Procreate. Found it. So I feel like it looks so gloomy. Like it looks so, I love it. I love how it looks. Um, I love the style of it. I love the drawing. I added a little picture behind it, blurred it a little bit, added light, shadow, um, which I really like, I really enjoy. Add a little filter. But it looks so dark compared to everything else. And here's a little list of stuff about me. I'm going to post this on Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr, wherever. <laughs> um, and I can share the process behind it with you guys. But it's just... See, here's the thing about like Instagram and feeds and stuff like that. And sharing your art process. I feel... Like, none of my art looks cohesive. Like, it doesn't look anything alike. Let me show you my feed, my Instagram feed, for example. I feel like my Instagram feed is not, like, you know, very clean in a way, you know? Like, it doesn't have an aesthetic or anything. It has, like, you know, my type of art. This is all mine and everything. But, like, here's a cute one. Here's a sketchy one. Here's a paint. Here's a freehand and stuff like that and I'm like I don't know is that me like does this show to everyone what I'm going through does this look cool and stuff also if you want to follow me go sticking you know on Instagram hi guys voice recording ghosty here I just wanted to pop in to share this little time lapse with you guys and talk about a few of the feelings I've been going through this week I've been struggling a lot with self-image and how I see myself and honestly this piece is not something I'm proud of um, I don't feel like it reflects who I am I don't feel that it looks exactly how I want it to look but one thing that I know for certain is that it's part of the process um, it's part of the process of 
understanding who I am is part of the art process to make something you don't like so I wanted to share it anyway I don't know if I'm gonna post it um, post the final piece anywhere if I do it probably gonna be on somewhere more chill like Tumblr but yeah um, I hope you guys know that I know how it feels and there is always someone out there to know how you feel when you're going through bad times and I just wanted to say here that you're not alone um, I'm here there are more people here there are people around you they're probably going through similar stuff um, online there's a lot of people too so yeah just remember you're not alone and whatever you're going through someone has gone through it before and it's not to belittle it it's just to remind you it's okay to feel the way you feel and to look the way you look and to be the way you are and yeah a lot of hands there but that's it i'll leave you with the time lapse and some chill vibes and i'll see you next week thank you so much for watching 